Alright, time for another collection video. So, I'm still trying to hold off doing the VHS collection, because that's going to be a huge project. Maybe spring break, who knows. Anyways, hello everyone. Welcome to my DC movie collection, where today I'm going to be showing you all of my DC DVDs and Blu-rays. Now, I don't have the biggest collection in the world. I definitely don't have a big one. And I'm very selective when it comes to DC. Um... To be honest, I don't like a lot of the darker material, like the the Batman and the Dark Knight trilogy. I try to stay away from that kind of stuff, especially with DC, um, but I've still got some cool titles in my collection. I've got the Snyder trilogy, I've got some of the DCU, I've got some of the old classics, and I'm just going to be going through everything. So, let's begin. Alright, starting with the man that started it all. The Christopher Reeves Superman the Movie. Done by Richard Donner. Uh, camera needs to focus. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool movie, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Like, I haven't watched it in a while. Also, man, it has a lot of, uh, old things, like... Dolby Atmos and stuff. But this does have some uh, deleted scenes and stuff on it, which is pretty cool. Um, outtakes, two trailers, vintage, TV spot, scene access. Yeah, this has a lot on it for being a uh, early 2000s disc. Anyways, here is what it looks like inside. So you got the movie itself and then the little cardboard chapter list because... This was back in the days where you got cardboard cases. I don't, I don't like them, but they did that. Uh, next, you got Superman, the movie, but the four-disc special edition. I actually bought this for like $3 somewhere in Clear Lake. It was a really good deal. Happy I got it. And it says, you'll believe a man can fly and so much more with, the, with this definitive Superman, the movie set. Alright, so what does this have? Uh, original 1978 theatrical movie with soundtrack remastered in Dolby Digital 5.1. Commentary by producer Pierre Spangler and executive producer Elias Solkind. Theatrical trailers and TV spot. Disc 2 is the 2000 expanded edition movie with commentary by director Richard Donner and creative consultant Tom Mankiewicz and music only audio track. Then you have the three documentaries Taking Flight, The Development of Superman, Making Superman, Filming the Legend, and The Magic Behind the Cape, Restored Scenes, Screen Tests, Audio Only, Bonus Disc, Additional Musical Cues. Then you have Vintage TV Special, The Making of Superman on Disc 4, 1951 Movie, Superman and the Mole Man, 9, 14, 1940, Fleischer Studios, Superman Cartoons, Mastered from the Superior Vault Elements, Superman, the Mechanical Monsters, blah blah blah, yeah. There's a lot in this, and it's a really good set. I haven't actually checked it out yet, though. Um... We'll do that after I'm done checking out Marvel stuff. And yeah, these are really cool covers. I don't even think I've seen the second cover, but... Yeah, they come in these little thin cases, because... They were making weird case decisions back then. Uh, disc 1, disc 2... Then you got disc 3 and disc 4 of the special edition. I don't know if any of the other films have special editions... But I would like to try and track them down... And the disc fell out. Oh, that's great. I love risking disc health. Um, yeah, you got Lois Lane and then Lex Luthor. Very cool. Very cool box set. I, I really like this. And I definitely will be on the hunt for more like these. But yeah, this is really cool. Definitely worth picking up if you find it. And I will review these movies when I'm done watching them, by the way. Definitely on my to-do list. Alright. Next, we got Superman 2! The theatrical cut. 
from Half Price Books for $5.99. Can't go wrong with a deal like that. Um, anyways, yeah, more special features, or I think pretty much the same ones, but even less. Uh, another 2000s release, another hard case. Uh, so far, we're to like pull this out. You can see the chapter list. You got the American flag, got the DVD, and you know, it's all right, I guess. That's the theatrical cut. Then you've got the director's cut, the Richard Donner cut, and the version you have never seen is so uh, what it's called. And I believe I got this at Rasputin's Music for about three bucks. And this has a lot on it. This has, like, Introduction by Richard Donner, Commentary, Deleted Scenes, New Featurette, Restoring the Vision. Uh, yeah. Cool, cool disc, definitely. I'm, I'm happy to own this. Um, but here's the disc. Then you've got Superman 3 and 4. Uh, Superman 3 turning a franchise into garbage. Uh, that's not the title, but seriously, why does this movie exist? Um, yeah, you got that. Then you got Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. Another dumpster fire. I mean, it was... Like, like seriously, they were so done with this franchise at this point, they didn't even put that many features on here. Um, but, yeah, uh... We don't, we don't talk about these films. Anyways, chapter list, disc, whatever, 3 for 10, Rasputin's Music, got it for like $1.95. Cool, cool deal. Uh, then next we go on to Superman Returns, two disc special edition from 2006. I forgot who stars as Superman in this one. Um... But, yeah, PG-13, interesting film, here's the two discs, really like the color, the artwork on these two, and I like how they reconceived Lex Luthor, I think, I need to rewatch all of these, um, see how I feel after that, and then we have the famous 1984 Supergirl movie. No, do not watch this, this is a terrible female-led superhero movie. I mean, the acting is fine, but the story, the pacing... Yeah, no. Uh, this is even the 10-minute longer extended cut, so... I had to torture myself for 10 extra minutes, but... Yeah, I got this somewhere for, like, 4 bucks. Um, would I pay that again? Probably not. Actually, probably, because I am a collector, but... Look, not a good movie. I feel bad for the actress that she literally had to be in a movie this bad, but she probably had a good time. And now the disc holder won't work. Oh, uh, magic. Okay, then. Oh, yeah, and there's magic in this films for some reason. Uh, next, we got two making of discs. We got Superman, uh, or, sorry, The Amazing Story of Superman. One disc, not rated. Pretty cool deal. Don't remember where I picked that up. I think it was like a flea market. And then, look up in the sky, The Amazing Story of Superman for five bucks. Really cool film. Uh, package, like two disc behind the scenes stuff. I haven't watched this yet. I need to, but yeah, very cool. And then we go on to Batman, and we're going to start with the 1956 movie. Might be later, it might be 1960, but I got this for about six bucks. Um, holy special edition Batman, the movie. Uh, very, very cheesy from what I've watched. Uh, very cheesy movie, but it's got a lot on it. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, it's got the trailer, it's got the teaser, the commentary, um, Batman featurette. Languages, uh, still gallery, yeah, it's cool, obviously based off the TV show, but yeah, look at the disc artwork, that is so cheesy, but hey, at least it knew that's what it was meant to be, so I can give it that. 
Anyways, let's take a look at the four uh, 1990s slash 1980s Batman movies. Beginning with Batman, with Michael Keaton, uh, Jack Nicholson, and Kim Bassiner. I don't know if I said that right. Yeah, I've seen this movie once. It was fun. I need to watch this again. And man, these discs have very long documentaries. I love the disc artwork, by the way. Like, this is perfect artwork. Why don't DVDs get that treatment anymore? Anyways, Batman Returns. Uh, ay, 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 ay. Um, disc 1, disc 2. Batman Forever. A turn for the franchise, but with Val Kilmer, Tommy Lee Jones, Jim Carrey, Nicola Kidman, and Chris O'Donnell. So this was kind of taking the franchise in a lighter tone. Uh, it's even got deleted scenes. There's even rumors of a director's cut. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Cool movie. I enjoyed it. I wish the deleted scenes were on this, but whatever. And then we have Batman and Robin. I'm not going to I'm not going to say anything. Um it has Arnold Schwarzenegger, George Clooney, Chris O'Donnell, Alicia Silverstone, Uma Thurman. Yeah. Seriously? They recasted Batman again. Whatever. Uh, yeah, this is a very weird film, and also kind of disturbing. It's, it's so, it's so corny. I, I, I don't even know. It's, it, the franchise just went down the drain with that one. Um, oh, here's another film that went down the drain. Green Lantern. I own the extended cut, because I like extended cuts. And it's a Blu-ray, you know, whatever. I'm fine. Blu-ray DVD combo. Need to watch this soon. Um, yeah, this is pre-DCU. Um, this was meant to be the DCU beginning, but that didn't happen. Um, but yeah, you got two disc, DVD, Blu-ray. The works. Got that for about... Well, it was meant to be $5.99, but it was... Three dollars, because it was on the clearance aisle, so too hard of a, or too easy of a deal to pass up. Next, you got Wonder Woman, about the Woman of Wonder, which I picked up for about seven bucks at Half Price Books in Sacramento, and I like this movie. I need to watch it again. I tried watching the fight scene, and I'm like, oh boy, this is cringe, but I need to watch the whole movie again, so... Yeah, there's disc one, disc two, then Wonder Woman 1984, which has not the best uh, results. Um, special feature, scene study, the mall. That's all that's on here. You got a scene study of the mall battle scene, I guess. Um, I do like the message of this film. Like, how lies will just get you into deeper and deeper trouble, and you need to let go of them or whatever. I think that's a very good message. I wish Wonder Woman 3 was happening. Like, please, just do Wonder Woman 3, finish out the trilogy. Anyways, yeah. So here's the disc. Um, Kind of wish they used a different color. I don't like all the yellow, but I do like it up here. I love this texture. Has a very nice uh, 80s vibe. Alright, then next, we've got Man of Steel uh, for $3, Clarence Isle, Zack Snyder's Man of Steel. Yeah, I'm going to bring up the Snyderverse a little bit. Um, I like this movie. I actually really do. The second time watching it, I found more problems with it, but it's still a fun and darker take on the character of Superman, so... I'll give it that for being very original. Uh, it is Blu-ray disc only, it says, but if you look in here... Yeah, that's not true. You got, like, three discs. You got two Blu-ray, 
one DVD. And yeah, I got this because, well, I did own the DVD, but I was like, I'd rather upgrade. So, yeah, I picked that up. Pretty good deal for three bucks. Like, can't go wrong with that. Um, well, you can't go wrong when it won't go in the darn case. Why? Why is it giving me case problems? Huh. Oh, well. Uh, next we got Batman v Superman, the Ultimate Edition. Blu-ray DVD combo. Still haven't watched the Ultimate Edition. I don't know if it's going to make the film any better. I love the film to begin with. So fun. I love Lex Luthor. Like, he's no longer just this really boring dude who wants money. He's this really funny jerk. Um, but, no, I enjoy it. Anyways, um, yeah. You got the disc, the pamphlet, everything like that. Definitely a good addition for the collection. And like I said, I got that for about three bucks. Um, at a little store in my town. Uh, the Man of Steel I picked up at... Okay. Man of Steel I picked up at the Half Price Books in Dublin. Yes, that's where I picked it up. Alright, and then you've got, obviously, the 2017 Justice League movie. I'm not going to buy this on Blu-ray unless I find it really cheap. Uh, Two-disc edition. And I ordered this off eBay, I believe, or was it Amazon? Might have been Amazon. Um, I don't think this film is atrocious in its own right, but... When you see what it could have been, yeah, it's a complete dumpster fire. This this film seriously is a dumpster fire that they never need to reprint or re-release. I don't even know why it's on HBO Max. It's that bad. Anyways, uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League. The four-hour R-rated superhero epic. Oh my goodness, I love this movie. I've seen it like three times. I love this movie so much. I love the music, the action, the characters. Ah, give me more. Give me Justice League 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I don't care if there's 20 films. Do it. Anyways, hashtag restore the Snyderverse. I'm not going to be toxic. I just want more Snyderverse movies. All right. Then you got the Blu-ray. Zack Snyder's Justice League Blu-ray. Got this as a Christmas present. Uh, it does have two discs, but one disc is in my, uh, machine. Then you got Aquaman, obviously. Aquaman's a great film, despite the controversy. Uh, and I'm excited for the sequel coming out this Christmas, so I'm gonna be in theaters day one. Hopefully. I'd love to. Um, here's the disc. Nice, boring artwork. Uh, bonus disc. Yeah. Yeah. PG-13, then you got Shazam, and the sequel's meant to be coming out on March 17th, so we'll see if that happens, but I like this one, too. Uh, I thought how Shazam got all alone as a kid was kind of weird, like his mother just forgot where he was or something, like, what? I don't understand, but, no, it's a fun movie. Um, yeah. Red Disc, I really like the color really like that they have this whole color scheme theme. And then, finally, we have a DVD of Smallville. And I don't know if this is the pilot or what it is, but... Yeah. Whatever. Still very cool. Let me open this. Let me do this. And then you got all the chapters and whatever. Yeah, is this... Is this the full movie? Or is this, like, a combination of all the episodes? Hmm. It, it feels like it's the pilot or something. I need to watch this. Huh. Interested. Anyways, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching once again. Uh, I will have this video up shortly, and take care. Bye for now.